Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we've got all our mechs repaired and I've added a couple things. Let's go to the mech bay real quick here. So uh, we did add the uh, FCS flamer inside the head of the fire starter here. Now we don't really have a lot of flamers. We do have an extra one here we could drop on. But I'm thinking this kind of loadout, more firepower build is probably a better way to go right now. Um, but we do have the FCS flamer here. 25% flamer damage, 25% flamer heat damage. Um, when we trick this guy out to be just a straight flamer boat, um, this is probably going to be a really good thing. So this guy's up and running, full armor, so we're going to run him in the next mission we take here just to see how it works out. Um, the assassin, we didn't really do anything to the assassin, still the same. Uh, Cicada, or Cicada, still the same idea, still the same. Um, most likely we're going to swap out the large laser for some, it's got four ballistic hard points, so we'll just be swapping out for some ballistic weapons on this guy. Hunchback remained the same, and we do have the ECM now. I think we still had that last episode. The ECM basic in the, uh, here right here, uh, in the head of the um, Wolverine to act as an ECM jamming bubble for our units. Uh, it's only a plus one, but it's, you know, better than not having anything at all. So we're going to jump in and take a mission here right away. Um, been kind of thinking about the salvage I've been taking for the past little while and the, the purchase that I made of the MML. I think I'm going to avoid anything that's not going to give us immediate uh, use. The boomstick was a nice idea, but because we don't have any ammo for it, it's just going to sit around in our base for a long time. So I'm thinking we're only going to grab stuff that I know we can get some use of. Um, just so that we can get our lances moving a little quicker than what we've got going on right now. So we're going to take Deniable Destruction today. Um, this is a destroyed base mission. We're sitting okay for, for funds here for the end of the month. So I think with this one, we're going to go full salvage on it. Uh, the next one will probably take a little bit more sea bills, but we're going to go full salvage on this guy uh, just to see what we can get off this. So let's take the Cicada out of the battle and pull in the fire starter just to see... Um, how well this thing is capable, uh, what kind of stuff this thing is capable of doing. I'm going to leave our current mechs. You can see here uh, we do have the mech pilot sunflower here. We I did pick up a mech pilot between episodes. Uh, we want to start cycling out these guys and bringing in new mech warriors. So um, I picked up her a little while ago. Uh, I noticed they fixed the issue with not being able to, ch to change the portrait here in the window. Uh, so we were able to give her a proper uniform. Um, and I just changed the lighting like I normally do. Lighting and framing so that we're all looking in the same direction and getting the same lighting. So that's all I did. Uh, so we're just going to leave her for now. And we're going to run with this lance and hopefully get this done in orderly fashion. Alright, here we go. We know this map really well. We've been on this one several times before. Yeah, man. Okay, so let's move up. Uh, while we're moving up here, I just want to talk a little bit about the next series um, that we're going to be starting probably this weekend, I think, most likely. Uh, we're going to... Um, originally, I was going to call it Free Birth, but I think it's going to be end up being called um, uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. And basically, we're going to be uh, a Freeborn unit from the Clan Jade Falcon. Um, that's the idea, anyway. And we're going to just kind of run based on that. Now, the Freeborn units were um, treated like dirt uh, because they're obviously were Freeborn as opposed to um, submitted to the uh, clan eugenics programs. And they don't have any of the historical names um, that other uh, clan mech pilots have. You know what? I'm going to like play this a little bit more reserved, I think. Um, so, with that being said, we have any, don't have a sight on these guys yet. Um, yeah, so that's going to basically be it. We're going to be like a, uh, a Jade Falcon reserve unit or a freeborn unit that's, um, trying to, uh, make a name for themselves in the cl in clan space. Waiting for order. Furthering the clan agenda. Uh, let's get into here. So we got a cattle master and a wasp. Okay. I'm 
Hopefully it's more than just these two. Okay, vehicle, Saladin, we gotta kill that guy. Ah! Holy crap. So I think we're gonna get lousy salvage off this mission. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's get down to the valley here. Should be safe from the turrets down here, I think. Ah, great chances to hit. Let's take them. Hopefully, we can kill this guy. Yeah, weapon unidentified. Yeah, right. We know it's an AC-20. AC-20 plus. Okay. Um, I'm here. Let's just get into here. Affirmative. Anyways, yeah, so with our clan, uh, our clan guys, I was a CT hit, man. Um, like I said, be members of Clan Jade Falcon. So we'll, we'll be we'll be taking a lot of local government contracts as long as they're not against uh, um, Clan Jade Falcon, and we'll be taking any Jade Falcon missions we can take. Now it's all going to depend on what the um, difficulty rating of the planets are. So I think we're going to first when we start off we're going to have some difficulties in. Uh, um, Difficulties in acquiring items. And the Saladin didn't even just get destroyed there. I don't know if that was a vehicle or the turret. That's the turret. We got a vet. Uh, a vedette. Vedette. I don't know. What can you do for me? Can you kill this vedette, you think? How much armor does this guy have? I have no idea. Find out in a second, though. Let's get over here. Moving fast. Uh, actually, not bad armor. Not bad armor. Shooting on this guy's side, I guess. Firing everything I've got. A little more heat than I was expecting coming off this guy. Yeah. It's the wasp. Damage minimal. Okay, how far can we get over here? Pretty good. Let's get into here. Um, seventy-two. What is it about this particular one that's giving us such a better chance to hit? Oh, this guy's got no evasion, I guess? I don't know. Let's blast this guy for sure. Should be able to do some serious damage here. Okay. Armor destroyed. He's going down. Standing by. Alright, let's hit the apex on this guy. Twenty-eight percent. Let's finish this guy up. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. It's weird that I said, yeah, let's just uh take stuff that I know we can use on this particular mission and we're not getting anything we can really use here. Let's get into here so that guy can't get around behind us generally. And dump everything on the VEDA VDET. Although strangely enough, if we can pick up some machine guns. Uh, we've got one extra right now. Picking up more machine guns might be an idea. So he's got small lasers and machine guns. 
Why sensor lock somebody and then not shoot at them? They gotta correct that. Yes, Commander. I mean, I don't, I, I don't personally care since it's like to my advantage, but. Uh, let's see if we get lucky on this guy firing. Firm. Nope. Failed to connect. Big fat nada. I'm receiving you. Okay, let's get back here. I want to try and clean up this vedette. See if we can hit it from this side. Fire everything. Not hear you. Let's finish this guy up, please. Fire and everything. Okay. Nicely done. So I got a feeling we're going to have to get back to the uh, evac point to get out of here because of this Saladin that didn't disappear. Oh, good shooting, man. Warning. Armor low. Those were CT hits, I'm imagining. So I wonder if we're going to get reinforcements in this one. It's supposed to be a one skull. See, this vehicle didn't disappear either. Roger that. That hit something good. Okay, Gyro's destroyed. Okay, leaving the serums and the small pulse off. Going to fire for the CT. Okay, let's get into a position now where we can rush these towers. I'm guessing here, probably in the woods, because they are going to shoot at us. So. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're coming for you guys. Like they say, an enemy, an anime. Here I come. Okay, what's the worst turret here? Four lasers. Those are the MRMs. Probably a tag on there. Lasers. That's probably an SRM turret. Let's go after this guy. And make sure he dies. Okay. Now I'm only moving into the open because I know we have a better chance to hit. Even, even those little extra percentages are going to make a huge difference here, I think. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Okay, Spentheus should be able to figure out or finish this guy off here. So, firing. Commencing alpha strike. That's plenty. get this last turret, or this turret anyway, we can see. We'll get that last turret in a second. Firing. Nice. Sure is. Yes, Commander. 
turrets first. Order acknowledged. And firing. I hear ya. Let's finish this up, girl. And then we can kill these two buildings with everybody else. Burn it! So 26 damage with those flamers. Target destroyed. Aye, aye. Confirmed. All right, you take this building. I'll take the other one. Enemy structure oh. Okay, good. Good shot, commander. Enemy structure down. It's gonna force us to run out of here. You watch. Oh, here we go. Nice. Alright, simple mission. Payment increase 35%. That's nice. We'll rain to take some CT damage. Uh, a little more than I was hoping for, but we'll have a little bit of time in the shop to fix that. That's not a problem. Now, what do we want here? Um, got three items. Internal con the internal combustion is we can sell. Um... SRM LK ammo. Let's take that. Um, remember, stuff that we can just use. Well, these are worth 32,000 a pop, roughly. 30 something? No. Yeah, about 32,000 a pop, roughly. AC5. I mean, if we want to downgrade slightly the hunchback from a 10 to a 5 might be able to add an extra large laser on them as well the SRM2 would be good for the um, the assassin I'm going to go this route I think I want to focus on getting something going with the cicada and the machine guns are part of that. So let's go this route and confirm. So we got the two mech parts, the AC-20, nice, two smalls, the SRM-2, some heat sinks, excellent, which we need, AC-5 ammo, that's a bonus. Okay, cool. All right, nice, 11,000, it's a lot less than I thought. So we've got six days. So let's do that real quick. We gotta wait for our pilots to come back for six days anyway, so that's okay. There we go. All right, so we're back. So let's have a look now. Um, Contract-wise, we might be able to go up to one and a half. Repossession is a bad idea. Cease and desist, destroy base, one and a half skulls. Yeah, it'll all depend on what mechs spawn in there. Thinking we go this route. Let's take cease and desist at one and a half. Just to see what we can get out of this. I'm going to go full salvage again. Hopefully we get some good stuff. And I'm going to run the same lance. I think the fire starter did quite well that time. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. Base destruction. Alright, we know this one pretty well, too. Thank you for that. Um, so yeah, we've got, generally there's like a mech here, a mech down over here, four turrets, and then a couple guys over here. Using this hill to defend. Um, on this map, if you haven't played this map before, if there's going to be reinforcements, they generally come from back in this corner, which is why I don't like moving over here and using this as cover. Um, if you accidentally trip these re reinforcements, you've got guys at your back. So, And we know how much we hate about guys spawning in behind us. So let's move in. We want to use this uh, hill here. There's a nice defilade along the back here as well. So if we want to sneak around and get that back turret, we can do that. Killing these two mechs, I think, is important here at the start. Yes, Commander. It's when we get kind of we kind of have the uh, two to one advantage on this one side, and we can stay out of out of uh, 
like direct sight line of the turrets. So yeah, definitely. I mean, Rogue Tech. If you play like I do, I mean, I'm like I said, I choose eight eight mech salvage to make one mech. Um, I like making it a little harder at the start, but uh, that last mission, just choosing that salvage, it just seems so like such a pittance when you choose stuff, but then you're like, oh yeah, we just got three heat sinks. That's amazing, right? But you have to remember, heat sinks are like right now is a, like a hundred and fourteen thousand. C bills a pop, so three of them is like, is like what three hundred and forty-two thousand C bills if we were to have to buy them, right? Which we don't have, so that's like huge for us, right? It's you know and weird, just like getting oh yeah we got a medium laser that's great, you know, we don't have any medium lasers so we need them, so early on it's just that that weak ass salvage is actually really good for us. Commander? It's going to be like this for a while too, so. You know, don't expect me to rush through this. The biggest thing is keeping these mechs running. Um, you know, it's save the metal, you know, spare the meat. So if we have to sacrifice a pilot, we have to sacrifice a pilot. Not that I want to do that, because in all of my, uh, I think pretty much every single rogue tech uh, or battle tech um, game I've played um, that I've been recording. I don't think we've lost a pilot Wait yet. You, we came close to losing pilots. We almost lost pylon once. I thought for sure he was dead. I thought for sure he was dead that episode. Rogue Tech Cold Forge, man. Go check that one out. I can't remember what episode it was. Uh, somewhere in the 50s, I think. 50, 40s or 50s. I thought for sure he was going to die. I'm here. That mech was totally trash. The uh, Shadowhawk. Or the Phoenix Hawk, sorry. Aye, aye. I keep saying it's a Shadow Hawk, but it was really the Phoenix Hawk. Um, can we... We can shoot that guy. Let's take a pot Here shot. Having that extra ammo, extra AC ammo is worth it. I'll just take a shot, see if we hit. We'll no. Negative damage. Repeat, negative damage. Doesn't matter where we go. Let's go into here. Let's just fire with the large pulse. Yeah. So we got a spider and What's this dude. Shadowhawk. Okay, cool. Javelin. Light turret chassis with half armor. So probably about 120 armor. Let's get on this Shadowhawk. Let's get some flamers on him to start. Um, looks like it's the standard loadout. Well, probably like an AC5 medium laser. A couple of, looks like a LRM10 and maybe an SRM2. Okay. Get right on this guy. Right on this guy. We got an opportunity to pull this guy out of battle if we can. Take this. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to spot him. No. Just not going to happen. We're going to take it slow though. Once again, just a large pulse firing. Let's see what they do here. I'm not sure if he just got worried because he was being shot at so much or what. Uh. See, we can target the buildings now. We couldn't do it before. Take a pot shot. Copy that. Eh. Crap. No 
It's all right. Mm-hmm. You want to play the games? We'll play the games. So that's probably the back turret. Nope, that's the middle turret. I want to know what the last mech is. They probably have another mech over there. Well, this guy's made a fatal error. What can I do for you? Coordinates received. And fire it all. This should be good. Maybe we can take that leg. No. Come on, hopefully Baby Baby goes before him. I think so. Yep. Yeah. Twenty three eighteen per cent. Yeah, we're going to go right here. All right, it's fired all. Okay. Oh, nice shoot, man. Report in minimal damage. Awaiting orders. Shadowhawk would be a nice chassis to have. Okay, firing everything. Firing a full salvo. Hmm. Hunchback, okay. So that could be the LRM-5s, a medium laser version. I wonder if he's trying to flank us. Okay, so this guy's left side is pretty... Well, it's banged up. It's not pretty banged up. It's just banged up a little bit. Don't so I don't think they've got any missile turrets. I think it's all the hunchback. All right, everything in the side of this guy. Oh, nice couple leg hits there. Okay, Ronan. Same idea. Let's hope we hit that leg. Firing. Copy that, Commander. Okay, looks like we hit with one and a small, or a uh, machine gun, I mean. Mm. I want to get to a point where I, he can't get behind me here. That is, unless he goes out of bounds. Come on, take that leg. Nope. We get the arm though. Yep. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Okay. So two weapons are damaged. Standing One high. is destroyed. Give them everything I've got. Oh, it hit. Nice. Something went. Okay, his leg went. Time to capitalize. Okay, so that's a turret. MML turret. Good eyes on. Let's 
three lasers. His torso is almost gone. Hmm. Let's see if we can take this arm. Good to go. Well, he is panicking. Not to get, let's not get to a place where that hunchback can see us. Uh, once again, let's try and take the arm. I'm gonna leave the flamers off. Just fire the mediums. Okay, got the torso. And the arm. Nice. And, and he bailed out. Cool. Maximize salvage. Full 34 and 11. Yeah, better. So we're going to leave the serums off and the small pulse. Want to save some heat here and just fire these. Okay, respectable start. Not amazing, but good enough. Welcome to the party. See you at the party, Richta. Think we'll be okay here? Could be wrong. All right, well, better on this guy. Let's fire and hope we get something. Should probably leave that uh, AC off for a turn now. Failed to connect. So I mean, if we put like this AC ten, if we take it out, put an AC five in. Um. We can probably add a large laser. Which, for those low percentage chances, would just fire the laser instead of the a AC, right? Standing by. Oh, God. How do we do this now? We want to remove these mechs, but we don't want to engage the turrets. So... Okay, fire on this guy. Been hoping for more head hits from these machine guns, but I guess really we're looking for a better qualified pilot for that. Or more volume. I hear ya. Just the three mediums. Tell me what to do. Okay, one hit. I know this is going slow, but I'm trying to reduce the amount of damage we take so I can pull off more missions every month. I normally don't care that much. Like if I know my armor will survive through the mission, I don't mind taking extra damage. Especially if we're getting paid well. And they're not worrying about making our monthly financial statement. But in this particular case, um, yeah, okay, three hits. Aye, aye. It's not amazing, but I'm going to take it. Copy that. Let's leave the AC off, just fire the mediums. Roger that. I want these guys to engage, but it's probably because we're so packed tightly together, they're just afraid to engage. I mean, I don't blame them. Like, as soon as one mech moves in, it's like targeted by four, so. You do know how fast we can move, right? OK. 
Okay. Fire three. Uh -huh. Okay. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. He's not I unstable, but that's okay. Now we want to make sure that that turret can't see us. Got it. Full speed, no target. Oh no, we got a target right here. Fire everything. Fire it. Ah. Take the three. No idea what's in that turret. Um, mm, sure. I want to see if I can force him to run a little bit. Finally engaging. Is that an ultra? Or has he got like two periphery right? I don't know what he's got. Yes, I don't know what he's got. Because our experience as, for, of, as pilots count for nothing. Alright, AC-10 firing. Alright, three MMLs. How fast are these guys now? We got two of us that go on 18 and one in 17, so not bad. Okay, yeah, he's running. I was kind of hoping that was going to happen. Good shooting, man. I mean, I don't have any sharp runs of evasion, but still good shooting. Now, will I overheat? I shouldn't. Dump everything into his side. Okay, three hits. Oh, he's still moving, eh? I, uh, I thought he took uh, minus initiative. He did. But he's still able to move, eh? Okay. Not gonna argue. We've done we've done really well for ourselves, so not gonna argue that. All right, let's move over here. Need to engage this hunchback. I'll leave that guy to the assassin. Oh shit! I thought I was targeting the hunchback there. Oh well, spider it is. Damn it! Got to like slow down a little bit here. Yeah. So that's an Ultra 5. I'd love to have that. That would be an instant replacement on the uh, Hunchback. Uh, I hate to do this. Probably go this way, I think. I'm just worried the spider's going to come around behind me. So let's do this. Fire everything on him. Come on, take the leg. Take the leg. No? Okay, that's good too. Engine destroyed. What? How is he still standing? I'm assuming that's a bug. Standing by. We're too close for the AC. Still 28, eh? Ah, uh, if we sprint, it's even worse. Worried about that turret back there seeing me. I think I'll probably be okay like this. Just in case it can't see me, it should only hit my side. Worth all my weapons on it. Uh, okay, firing everything at this guy's side. 
Nah. Take the one hit. It's got a lock on me. Yeah, turret can't see us. Good thing it's only got medium lasers. Hit, Commander. Stop saying things like that. It's when you take a head hit. How is that guy still going first? He must be a pretty damn good pilot. He didn't move, eh? I'm receiving you. I'm there. See if we can make him unstable. Critical hit, Commander. Okay, he's unstable. Who's coming for the melee? The spider? Sure, man. Bring it. 25. That's pretty good for a spider. Okay. And my mouse is back. Okay. Sorry, Zach and Freaky there. I may have to unplug it in a second. I got one of those black mamba, razor black mamba mi mice. I find every once in a while it just loses its um, its connection for some reason. And I have to unplug it and plug it back in. All right, let's see if we can wreck this guy. Time to die. Okay, finally. Dang, you're dead. The engine and the gyro are, were already destroyed, so yeah, I'm losing my mouse here. Hang on one second, guys. Unplug in the mouse. Plugging it back in. Plugging it back in. Hello. Here we go. Nope, that's not helping. Why is it not helping? <sighs> Alright, that's better. Uh, can't be the mouse pad. Mouse pad's brand new. Uh, okay, hunchback. If we go, I don't know, is that guy going to be able to see us, the turret? I think we don't want to do this anyway. I think we want to try and burrow through his side. I think that's really what we want to do. So we're going to do this instead. Uh, and I'm going to Vigilance, because I definitely want to go be go before these guys next turn. Why all of a sudden my chance to hit drop? Something's going on. Okay, there goes a medium laser. Now, is this guy unstable? No. Oh, I think this is the guy with the uh, heavy and light, or heavy and medium rifles. That's why. I thought it was an ultra auto cannon. Well, I know better now. Let's get into here. Moving to position. Shoot him! Shoot him! Let's see how you like this. Two medium laser hits. Nice. Let's see if he runs. Still fighting? Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Okay, that turret can still see us. Okay. See if we can do this. Fire at everything. Okay, got the torso. Engine hit. Primitive engine destroyed. Pilot injury. Unstable. Spider's going now. Making a break for it. Don't blame you. Shit just got real. Standing by. Affirmative. 
Shoot him. Yeah, he's still passed. Oh, he got knocked down. Okay, good. That should be two pilot injuries. What can I do for you? Double time. Triple time. Okay, we're gonna go for a headshot. Ah, uh, still too much, eh? Let's take the chance. Drop the flamer on as well. Fire. Roger that. Firing on target. Another hit like that. All right. So he's bailed. Commander. Let's start on the real threats if we can. Should have waited a turn. Should have waited a turn. That was a uh, huge mistake. Huge mistake. Definitely has to go. Fire it off. Okay. Look at that. Waiting for orders. Thirty-four, twenty-eight. Start on it. Well, eight point starts better than nothing. It got a sensor lock on me. Yeah, I know. Awaiting orders. On the move. Let's get the fuck out of dodge. Firing on target. Okay, not bad. That could have been worse. Sure could have been. Not too worried about the spider right now. He's kind of like floating around out here. I hear ya. He's running around with like a chicken with his head cut off. And fire. Here we go. Nicely done. Gotcha. We needed that. Waiting for orders. Location confirmed. Stay in the trees, please. Everything on this guy. Almost enough. Yeah, fire the three. Okay. 
One building down. Just need one more. Um, gonna cool off. Let's just get over here. Yeah, fire the three. No biggie. They've got a lock on me. So we're gonna push the center turret now. I'm here. Huh. Really, eh? Take out this guy. Confirmed. Spider trying to come back. But he's moving and bracing, so it's like he's having a hard time getting back on time. Should be enough, right? No? Let's just do this. That. Firing on target. Oh, we hit with one. Nice. Not enough, though. Yes, Commander. Really. I want the left side facing there, so let's just do this. Move order confirmed. One medium laser should be enough, I think. Sure. Target confirmed. Nice. that spider. I want to make sure we kill everything here because I need the bonus. Location confirmed. Fire it all. What can I do for you? On my way. Got it. Okay, that should be it for that guy. I wonder if that spider is going to make his way towards us. Hope he does. We'll crest this hill in a second, or the building, and we'll kill that last turret. Affirmative. And then it's just that spider. Come on, buddy. Pew. More worried about the turret than anything. Let's get this guy. Fire it all. Wolverine definitely has the firepower when it can hit. I hear ya. All right, starting with this guy. Sorry, buddy, but you're in our way. Alpha I'm receiving you. Ah, oh, come on. Let's finish this up, guys. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Hit him hard. Guard a critical hit. Standing by. Pretty good overall, though. I thought we'd do a lot worse than this, but we did pretty well. Alright, 26% chance to hit with the AC. And firing. firing all weapons. back needs some TTSs or something. No joy. Yeah, no kidding. No joy, no kidding. Rob out of SRM ammo. It's alright, though. Fire everything into this guy. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicely done. That's it, folks. Okay, another bonus of 35%, 203,000. With the exception of me moving that Wolverine out early, or sorry, the Hunchback out early, which t took damage to the internal structure. We did really well. We lost the heat sink here and the torso. Uh, but we do have something to replace that with. I don't think we lost anything on anybody else. I should have waited until we were all ready to move and then gone. I just kind of jumped the gun there, so I got to learn to be a bit more patient. It's only 12 turns of injury, which is not that bad. All right. Lots of Hunchback, Shadowhawk parts. So stuff that we can use. Let's focus on that. Um, 200, 275 engine. Uh, what else do we have down here? Anything good? Heavy rifle ammo, medium rifle ammo. Nothing really amazing. I wonder if we should take both cores. The one thing that we were missing, and another flamer for the... Uh, fire starter in funky steve's medinas we were short on cores let's go that route let's see what kind of mech parts we pick up here so two hunchback two hunchback three shadowhawk parts so it looks like one and a half skull is probably a good good uh, mission for us heavy rifle but no ammo that's okay and a heat sink to replace the one that we lost rocket launcher five it's only one ton that's not bad not bad all right, so 34,000 repairs, not too bad. Not too bad, I guess. It's the number of days. Um, so the Hunchback, yeah, that's totally my fault, man. So 10 days of repair. So let's close this up. Actually, let's get the fire starter back first. I'll have a look at that before we go today. So let's take one turn here. There we go. So yeah, it's back. So we'll be able to pull off another mission before the end of the month, right? because uh, Apex will be back in 11 days. So let's have a look at the mech bay here. And I think I'll swap out um, if we go to Firestarter, refit. So let's swap out one of the medium lasers. Let's split them up arm per arm. And let's go with, sorry, let's go to weapons, lasers. We've got two extra flamers. Like, I mean, I could put both on here and then lose a heat sink. Um, we don't have any more laser points. We'd have to pull them. We have to go four flamers and a medium laser. Um, do we want to do that though for overheat? Uh, 25 damage. See the flamers have a bonus accuracy and we're getting bonus damage from the 25% bonus damage. We're doing 12 and 12 heat and then when it's overheating it's doing a lot more. So let's go that route. Let's try this see what happens now we don't really have yeah I mean we could go with a fluid gun but we don't have ammo for it so I think this is probably a good way to go is our heat efficiency is going to be good now not to worry about overheating so let's confirm this is two days and we should be back still in the same amount of time uh, yep this is 10 days to go so we'll be back uh, we lost the heat sink and the hunchback so it'll be 11 days Let's just get our mechs back. I want to make sure that we're going to have enough before we go again. We've almost got enough for two months of... Uh, uh, oh, do we want to go in the high stakes room or what? Yeah, let's go for it. I gained 50 grand morale. Yeah, man. Bonus. So we should have enough now. Almost enough for uh, two months of, uh, yeah, almost enough for two months of financial report, which is excellent. Okay, so let's go. Normally I don't like to gamble like that, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Oop, uh, hunchback. Should only take a day to swap out the heat sink here. Wrong place. Although, 
we should look into um, increasing the tech points on our mechs here. So let's do this. And where's that? We'll just put a heatsink in. I want to just see here for a second, too. So we put a heatsink in. I mean, the other thing we could do. So let's say we pull out the AC-10 for a second. And we drop in the AC-5 with a ton of AC-5 ammo. That's going to give us five tons. What's the heat on this guy? It's like 12 or something, isn't it? Oh, it's the ammo. Sorry, durr. It's six heat. So if we pull out a medium laser in the arm and put a large laser in and another heat sink, what is that going to give us? Just for sake of argument. Yeah. And the other thing to do would be to leave these off, put the medium laser back in. We're not going to do it now because it's going to take too much time. But if we do this, right, and we put in the mask system, let's say, to make this guy a little faster, pair of heat sinks, and maybe like a half a ton of armor, which we have the room for. I mean, that's pretty darn good. So rather than two heat sinks, you put one, right? And then grab another medium laser. 4642. It's not bad heat sinking. I mean, this guy could be a really quick strike mech. This is a wonderful possibility, I think. It's eight days, though. So I think when we, yeah, I think when we, um, oops, why did it lose everything? Uh, I think when we go to refit stuff, beginning of next month, I think that's what we'll do. So next episode, when we come back, um, we'll pull off a mission, because we're close to doing that now, so one day. Um, so we'll pull off a mission before the end of the month. Apex is out of action for two days. We do have another we do have another mech pod, so we're okay. Um, so yeah, we'll pull off another mission when we come back, um, and then after we come back, uh, or after the financial report that is, then we will refit the hunchback and get that working. And maybe if we've got enough materials after the next um, few missions or so, we can have a look at uh, fixing up the cicada a bit because it's with this that large laser, it's kind of really underpowered. So yeah, we're going to leave the episode here. If you like it, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, I may jump after the next um, mission too, uh, to, the, to another planet, because we're going to have to get more missions. We're trying to get uh, Dr Draconis Combine uh, um, reputation. Um, we got reputation of one right now, so we're working our way up. Very, very slowly, but it's getting there. Um, yeah, so if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please, please feel free to subscribe and leave some comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.